Lady Lili, back with another video. Car talk with Lady Lili. Car talk with Lady Lili. I know y'all like, where the hell you been? What are you doing? Why we ain't getting no videos? Well, y'all, it's just been stupid busy still. So it's just not laying up and then, lay, I mean, laying, laying up, meaning the workflow and, you know, just some things going on in my personal life that I'm, you know, facing. I might get more into that at another time, but not today. So we got a car talk with Lady Lily. I know I'm behind. So let's do it. Let's do it. So we want to first say congratulations to Cardi B. You all know last weekend she got engaged to um, Offset. And um, yeah, he proposed at a concert. She got this big old huge ring. ring. So um, yeah, congratulations to them. And I mean, the... Y'all acting like the beehive for Cardi B. I mean, people just, you know, oh, yeah. Because some people say, y'all going on bad like Cardi B. Y'all cousin and sister or something. But, hey, to each his own, right? So, um, congratulations to her. Um, also, last week, we did discover that um, it's been uh, brought to the attention that uh, Chrisette Michelle um, been going through some things. She has some suicidal thoughts. Um, and life has not really been right for her since she did that performance for the president inauguration back in um, January. Um, she suffered from a miscarriage. She has been dropped from um, the label that she had her, you know, recording contract with. And she hasn't been taking it, you know, well at all. She was talking on um, social media uh, I think it was like a post or something and she was pretty much saying, you know, how she was taking Xanax and drinking alcohol and, you know, she was trying to numb the pain and, you know, you never know, you know, you know, she took, I guess, a picture of someone's miscarriage or something. But yeah, I pray for her. Let's all pray for her, guys. You know, you don't know. You know, some people are built strong and a lot of others are not, you know. You know, you think you can face adversity until you finally is hit with adversity. So, I do really do feel sorry for her. I really do because, you know, miscarriages and it's a sensitive subject for a lot of women. Um, I know quite a few women who suffer several miscarriages. Some several miscarriages and they finally got that, that one baby. And then some have suffered several miscarriages and just gave up and they end up adopting and falling in love with their, you know, adopted children. So, um, everybody takes it differently, you know. You know, you don't know. You don't know. You know, all us women that desires to have children, we go in with a positive attitude. And sometimes it could just be a quick miscarriage and somebody's off and pregnant and got gazillions of babies, but it, it affects women differently. So you can't say, you know, it is, it's a loss to the child. Even though some people may say, well, a child didn't, you know, develop too far along, it's still the loss of a child. So, um, yeah, so I just, you know, continue to pray for her and that, you know, she gets some help, um, that she see Christ in her moments. I mean, I, I can't say everybody's religious, so I won't say that, but, you know, whatever it takes to get, get, get it back together, slowly but surely, and, and hopefully her family and friends could, you know, wrap their loving arms around her and just, you know, give us some love. But sometimes it's just all about having some support, love, and comfort in those those dark times. So, Chrisette, we are praying for you. Um, another person, and I feel like I'm hitting y'all with the sad news. God bless Tyrese. Now, everybody's laughing at Tyrese, and Tyrese went to social media, and he put a post about his um, daughter, that his only daughter. He, I believe he has another child on the way with his current wife, but he was just saying, you know, that's his, that's the baby that's, 
that's his current baby that's his oldest baby and he's back and forth um in the court still he hasn't seen her in months um you know he was saying how he's paying thirteen thousand a month you know what else do you want and you know he you know lashed out on the rock because i guess um i don't know he supposed to be in a movie and i guess it's not gonna go through or something and y'all correct me if i'm wrong and then also i think the fast and furious producers or is it they try to keep him off the next fast and furious movie or something i don't know but but uh he was just talking about um he said something about being broke and people like was you know took it left and i think what he's saying he needs the money to maintain you know you know these celebrities get into these lifestyles so he needs the money to um maintain a lifestyle but i i, I really did feel sorry for him and I was listening to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show the other day, and he, you know, he Ricky Smiley defended him. He said, "I know the pain that he's feeling. I know what he's going through." Because you all know Ricky Smiley um, was going through, um, you know, the courts for his kids. I think he ended up he he ended up getting his kids too. But he was saying, you know, they try to paint you out to be a monster. He said, is there guys out there that's not doing nothing for their kids? He said, absolutely. He said, there's there's bombs out here that's not supporting kids. But he said, there are good dads as well as good mothers because there's mothers fighting the courts too for their kids. And he said, it's just bad that they paint those evil pictures. And the ones who are trying to get, um, trying to do good do get punished. I did feel sorry for him. You know, it's one thing to be in a relationship and you have the kids and it just simply didn't work. Um, but you can't hold that against the person. You can't use the kids against that person because your relationship didn't work. And, you know, I always say I just pray when I do have kids that I... I love my man, he loves me, and we're going to love each other, and we're going to love these kids. But in the event it don't work out, I would never deny him of that opportunity of his kids. Fathers play such an important role. You know, I grew up in a two-parent household. It's a difference, y'all. I know some people say, well, you know, I grew up in a single-family household, and I turned out fine. And yes, a lot do, a lot do turn out fine and be great leaders and and you know go on to be parents and 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 role models and stuff i'm not saying that it can't happen but i just know the difference the perks of the benefits of having both your parents in the household there was a lot of kids kids growing up they used to envy the kids that had the mama and the daddy in the house i remember kids said your daddy live with you i remember them saying that they would say your daddy live with you absolutely and it's things that my dad taught us that mom didn't teach us and it was things mom taught that dad didn't teach so that's why i said i will always you know i want both of us to be in the same household under the same roof i don't want to do that back and forth your weekend my weekend you ain't paying the money or we got to go to court because the kids coming up short and i'm like oh no i don't want to do that i don't even that's why i said i don't I don't want to put myself through that, let alone my kids. We want no weekends. We all was in the house together having breakfast at the table on the Saturday morning, you know? Well, no, we played the video games. We all was under the same roof opening up the Christmas gifts. So, you know, I, would, I want my kids to experience that. That's what I want them to experience. And like I said, I want to love their father. I want to honor him and respect him as the husband and the father figure and let him be the leader of the household and all that great stuff so that's what i desire so i really you know i really have really have no interest in having a baby by a random because a lot of women get to my age range and we get in our feelings and y'all i get in my feelings too but I think it's the I think it's just sad that just have a baby randomly because you got caught up or you know it just happened, it just happened, or you planned it thinking you're gonna keep something going. But yeah, so I do I do pray for him. I hope they can get that worked out. Um, 
this is it was a cry for help it really was a cry for help because obviously he feel like he don't know what else to do at this point so it was simply a cry for help also where are we at um Colin Kaepernick turned 30 today, so happy birthday to Colin Kaepernick. I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard something. Is it true that um, they said, according to his attorney, he's supposed to be getting signed to a team in the next 10 days? Is that true? I don't know. So some might elaborate on that, because I don't know. I just That's something I heard on the radio, that he may be getting signed. So um, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Um... Yeah, I'm thinking that's it. I'm think cream sugar, y'all was woo. It's getting real. It is getting real. It is getting real. Um, congratulations to the Houston Astros. They won the uh, World Series. I really don't care. Cuz won there, so hey. Um, so they won the World Series. It did go to seven games. So um, congratulations to them. And we'll see next year because I don't know. It's, I feel like sometimes with certain teams, they get that one hit quick, then it be over. So I'm hoping, yeah. But, um, yeah, we're in the month of November. It's starting to be the holiday season. Hope Halloween was good to you. Um, just trying to maintain. Oh, I got an announcement to make. Some good news. Amongst all this chaos, I got good news so I was named um, as a 2017 recipient of the 40 under 40 um, young professional women's I got the young it's the 40 under 40 young professional women's award and I am one of these this year's recipients so I'm gonna be honored on November 30th at the Harold Washington Cultural Center myself along with 39 other amazing women um, they've been slowly posting to our Facebook uh, announcing the winners. I have not been officially announced yet. I'm hoping that will come up relatively soon. But I will talk more about it. I was just waiting for the official post to take place. But I got my award letter and um, information about tickets and all that good stuff. So I already told my family and friends and invited them to the award ceremony. So, um yeah but um very honored um just coming at a great time in my life because you know you get leery you get leery in your work you know you wonder do anybody see this you know the labor the work you get leery you get tired and you just wonder sometimes is anybody paying attention uh, some days you feel like crying some days you feel like getting up but it's just moments like this that just tells you yeah you're doing something. So as soon as I get the official post made, I probably will share that with you all again. But yeah, I am um, excited. I'm still tired, but I'm excited. Um, that's some good news and it's gonna take place after the holidays. And I think that's a good time just because, you know, as a single person, sometimes we get caught up in our feelings during the holiday season because we don't, you know, have the kids or the children to share those moments with. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for your patience. You know, when you got a real job, it's hard sometimes to maintain in these YouTube streets. So have a good day.